Hey girl. Hello Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka. I'm just going to be doing a general reading for the coming week for the Aquarius. Keep in mind that this, is, that this is a general message, so not everything will resonate with you. So from here, this is where I ask you to rely on your intuition. Mm. <laughs> rely on your intuition and go with what cards are resonating with you. And take what and don't take what doesn't because, you know, I'm not going to be offended. You don't take every single card, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, so while we're continually, continuing to shuffle... I'm going to go over your cards right now. I already, well, actually, a lot of good things coming up for you, Aquarius. So your first row, we have the Knave of Cups, the Six of Swords, as well as the uh, Star card. Hmm, it's almost as if like a, there's like a, deal has been made a deal has been made or like this week there's like the ball has started that's what i'm seeing and hearing it's like the ball has started for you guys i'm going to show you guys these cards before i ask for clarifiers on this show but yeah it's like with this type of spread it's almost like a, the ball has started for you, some of you guys in that where maybe an offer has been made this week this coming an offer will be made this coming week for you guys um definitely or the ball is going to be started in that there's going to be some breadcrumbs as i like to say that the universe will leave where you start realizing that things are starting to work out for you uh so maybe like if, if you are interested in a person maybe they're going to start reaching out to you more as i talk about that yep i feel like this is definitely in terms of like a per like for some of you guys you guys are taking it to the next level with a relationship because as I was talking, right, we pulled the Two of Cups and then we pulled the Seven of Cups and then we pulled the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> you guys, if you know anything about tarot, this is just straight up like such beautiful energy in that it's affirming energy. It's really, that's what it is. It's really extremely affirming energy in that if you're signing some type of contract, right? It's another card where you're signing some type of contract with somebody and it's a positive thing. Everyone's smiling. So in terms of this week, if business deals, for sure, or if you're thinking about some type of business plan, this is the week to put it into action or start really creating something. The two of cups, I feel like it's involving another person. Maybe you guys, maybe you start developing a business plan with another person or this week, this the person that you're interested in or someone starts pursuing you, right? But I almost feel as if, like, you are the one that's in control of this. So I almost want to say that someone, like, either you're being brought opportunities or this card is essentially saying that this is going to be the week that you get what you decide to choose from it, right? If you decide to start, like, at this point, you're, the energy is pretty good for you right now. It's in that whatever you want to focus on, it's going to work out, but you, can, oh, it's almost as if that you need to just make a decision on something because it's like, that's the energy that I'm getting as well. Because when you think of the seven of cups, like there's so many various things that it could, this person could focus on, but it signifies almost to me because when you think about a contract, it's like long-term, right? So it's almost as if spirit's asking you to settle down as well, settle down on something, make a decision on something, maybe finally start putting your roots into something, right? You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Yeah, maybe you guys have been having some doubts. So maybe some of you guys haven't been wanting to put yourself out there in terms of like, letting it be known that you're interested in someone or putting yourself out there in terms of like a business because of your own insecurity. You haven't wanted to do long-term plans because of your own insecurity. And it's because of that, you stop yourself from ever achieving anything you have all these opportunities laid out in front of you but you don't grab out at anything because you don't believe you're good enough you don't believe you're good enough to have that commitment made for you you don't believe you're good enough to have some type of deal made for you or to have it pre be presented to you maybe you don't know your worth perhaps right the mountain goat card what does this say there's something out of balance in your life so do whatever you need to do to correct it i feel like it's this what's out of balance for some of you guys and that are aquarius is all you guys that are aquarius is rather is that 
perhaps it's like your own like perception of yourself or maybe this could just be like your situation maybe your perception of your situation is not the reality maybe you're thinking that your situation is harder than it actually is and that's what's like choosing to limit you that's kind of actually what i'm getting right because we have the seven of disc in our second row we have the seven of discs is with the death card and then the justice so it's this is such a like it's almost like re it's such rebirth energy and it's not just because of the death card it's almost as if like you guys have been waiting so long for something to happen you guys have been waiting so long for something to happen or you guys have been let's see let's get some clarifiers before i continue on wow we pulled the death card again for you guys the death card again as the clarifier so two death cards in the same and the exact spot the magician card and the knight of swords so yeah this is what i'm getting <laughs> it's almost as if you guys there's definitely an end of a situation and with how it's leaning towards it's leaning towards uh people in some type of like a person where it's like a maybe not necessarily a person but it's like something happens where you get closure you in your effort of bringing balance to something that's when you start bringing closure to things and it's through you realizing your worth perhaps and through you starting to finally like decide what it is that you want that's the end of this constant cycle maybe you guys have been feeling like you've been in a loop recently right maybe you guys did, you've been feeling trapped so now it's almost as if like once you do finally make this decision aquarius that's when this rebirth like the death of this old toxic pattern these patterns that you've been going through finally come into completion and that's when things start working out for you so i almost want to even say yeah like with the justice card with the three of cups with the two of cups this is definitely the definitely geared heavily towards involving other parties in your life it's, it's really interesting how this is playing out for you guys it's like a i feel like this week for you guys especially is like just yeah luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius this is really a time for you guys to figure out what it is that you want to do and put your focus on it put your focus on it and then what however like where is the card yeah whatever cup that you decide to put your focus on that is when you need to bring death to anything that is no longer serving you that will help you fill up that cup. So for example, let's say that you wanted the cup that has the jewels in it, right? Anything, any habit that you have, any people that you are connected to that aren't helping you manifest this, right? The magician card. When you are not met, like anything that's not assisting you in manifesting towards this goal, you need to let go of. This is a, this week for you, and I feel like this is heavily speaking in terms of like habits or um, maybe for. I feel like a lot of people, I could because it's involving other parties. Maybe like other parties, like you guys have been, you'll be enabled by other people in your life, or where you'll do things and you won't uh, focus on what you need to do uh because it's like you, your friend will be like oh no go out, come like come hiking with me or whatever whatever your story is right so it's going to be like once you make a decision on what it is that you want to create commit to it and <laughs> luck is on your side and things are going to work out beautifully because we have the magician card it's a beautiful card and then for our last row yeah we have the ace of swords the knight of wands and the ten of cups so i feel like this is just like an affirmation for me you guys and that you guys will pick what's right you guys will make the right decision on what it is yeah the hanged man you guys commit to whatever it is once you guys make this commitment you see the journey that's ahead for you right and you start letting go of things that are no longer serving you the eight of wands right the eight of wands represents to me that you let go of the things that are no longer serving you right um the habits the people the environment whatever is not conducive to growth in your environment or in your space you let go of and it's through you letting go of this you committing to this action being like you know what i want to manifest the jewels i want to make my i want to be a dancer so i'm going to commit to dancing that is when you finally like 
the path starts clearing up for you and it starts everything starts making sense for you that's when you can start charging forward in your life and it's when that is when you're going to start being able to celebrate that is when you're going to start feeling truly fulfilled because maybe right now you guys have been focusing your energy on <sighs> you guys have almost been focusing your energy on something that just hasn't been fulfilling you I, i'm getting or like maybe you've been putting energy into something that you just haven't felt success in and it hasn't been working out i feel like once you guys start like the key is to, like cutting out things that are no longer serving you and finally making a decision on one focusing on one specific thing and that's when you're going to get your greatness right because that's the ace of swords that's like celebration i feel like it's, like your success is so intertwined with how like what you surround yourself with the energy you surround yourself with the people you surround yourself with the environment you choose to keep all of that and that's it's all intertwined so let's pull one more uh animal card before we close out this reading for you aquarius or an extremely good reading for you guys this is very much so like the world is like the limit for you guys the sky's the limit for you guys it's just a matter of committing to one thing and cutting out people that are not serving you yeah the polar bear card this is, it's so much i feel like you guys are setting up boundaries aquarius you're definitely setting up a boundary of some sort the polar bear card says stand up for yourself and speak tr your truth passionately and respectfully with no attachment to the outcome so you you lay your cards out there and be like you know what i'm going to be focusing on dancing you know, if this bothers you, that's fine, but I can't put my energy into you right now. If you can't be supportive of my dream right now, I can't be investing energy into you. And don't be afraid of what, how they react because right now you're putting yourself first. This is the week that you're putting yourself as priority. Aquarius and yeah that is the reading that I have for you guys I hope this reading was helpful if it was let me know which card resonated with you in the comments below I would love to hear about it and if you liked this reading please give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much until next time you guys I love you so much bye